I once wrote a letter to the corrupt British Boxing Board of Control asking for copies of my contracts, my fight contracts, because I wanted to find out how much was my real amount that I got paid from the promoter. Because I believe and I suspect that I was being cheated by somebody in the fight business. I was owed a lot of money. I was owed thousands and thousands of British pounds for fights that I took part in. I was a, member, a registered member with the British Boxing Board of Control. So I paid my dues. I went for my brain scan every year. I went for my medical checkup, my blood test. I did what I had to do every year to re, to remain a member, and I paid my member fee, my 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 British Boxing Board of Control membership fees. Because as a boxer, you got to pay for your license. Whether you're a trainer or a manager or a promoter or a boxer, you have to pay an amount every year to belong to them. Why I don't know. I don't know why I had to pay them every year. A lot of money it comes close to including all the all the medical tests it comes close to back in 2001 and 2002 it was about it was about 500 pounds 600 pounds it's a lot of money if you if you only fight once or twice a year it's a lot of money and you're not even getting your real purse so I wrote to the very dishonest Simon Block who was in charge of the British Boxing Board of Control. And he said to me, we don't have a copy of your contracts. You, you need to ask your manager, Mr. Frank Maloney, or you can ask the promoter, Mr. Frank Warren. So I wrote to Mr. Frank Warren, the promoter, and I thanked him for giving me an opportunity to fight for him and to box for him, you know, it is, he's, a, he's a well known promoter, very, very uh, established promoter. He's, he, you know, I, th I always thought he was a very, very good, good guy, like, you know, he was a stand up guy, and he was just about making boxing work, you know, for his boxers. He's doing good things for his boxers. But I wrote to his, I wrote to his officers asking for a copy of my contract, and he's a lawyer in-house lawyer wrote back to me his name is Stephen Heath Taylor he said we do not have any of your fight contracts because we have lodged them with the British Boxing Board of Control and if you you need to contact them to get a copy so there's a problem already guys who's lying now to me was it Mr. Simon Block or was it Mr. Stephen Heath Taylor, the, the well-known solicitor, British lawyer, he's a very well-known lawyer. I wrote back to um, Simon Block from the British Box Board of Control and I said, Mr. Block, and I included Stephen Heath Taylor's co uh, letter and I said, listen, this is self-explanatory. Please, I need my contracts. I need this for tax purposes, and I did need it for tax purposes. I want I was paying my taxes in England, and Simon Block wrote back to me again, and he said, "I can assure you, we do not have your contracts." So I was getting very, very pissed off at this stage. Where the hell were my contracts? I just wanted my fight contracts so I can see my purse money. And, and I needed it for, for tax, British tax. I was a foreigner in Britain. I didn't want to get locked up for not paying taxes. You know, I had to, I had to, I had to buy, abide by the rules. I had to buy, abide by the laws and regulations of Britain. I was there on a visa or a work permit. And I didn't want to get into trouble, but now it seems like these guys who were, who were British born, they were, born and raised in Britain, they were the ones committing crimes. They were the ones not paying the boxes the, the correct amounts of money and they're lying to me. And it went back and forth, you know what? And I thought to myself, just leave it, just leave it, forget about it. They've, they've robbed me, they took my money, 
whoever took my money, but they lied to me. And I've got contracts. I've got, I've got evidence of their letters. I've got the letters in my possession that I wrote to them and they wrote to me. And I just said to myself, you know what? Forget about it. It's a loss. I lost about 60,000 pounds, British pounds. That's a lot of money, 60,000 British pounds. That's a lot of money. That's more money than most boxers will ever earn in their lifetime. Uh, and that's a fortune. That's the sad truth of the whole situation. But you know what? We're going to cut our losses. And I'm not scared to talk about it. Yes, I have been um, cut, cut out of boxing. These big promoters are all friends and connections and they're all connected and they've all cut me out of boxing basically. They have got, cut me out for speaking the truth. That's what I've done. That's my biggest crime was, was telling people the truth and I'm out of boxing but it's fine. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, life goes on as they say. You know what? Keep your head up and if you're watching this video, let me leave your comments leave your comments in the, in the comment section below and share the video share the video with whoever that is what happened thank you for watching